Well, it's February and getting close to Valentine's Day. So I thought I would work on one of my little heart basket bottoms. I love hearts. I have hearts on my rings. I have a little ruby heart. I have heart earrings. I have little heart gemstones all over the house. So I wanted to make a little heart basket. I have made a few before. Here's a little pink one I did. But it's not the shape of a heart. So I wanted to try making the shape of a heart. So I thought I'd show you how I managed to get around these tight little corners. The first thing to do is to soak your needles or dampen them. These are a pinkish color. And I think they were meant to be red, but they came out pink. They didn't quite get all the way. So these actually have been dyed and they've also been soaked. And so it makes them much more pliable. So I did the first row here and you start just as usual. I started over here on the right hand side very small amount of needles, five or six needles. And then I just built up as I went around. So when I got to this point, now you're gonna have to bend them pretty hard. But when I got to this point, I made sure they were real damp and very pliable. So they do bend pretty easy. Now I just had a small amount I had to get on there, but they went pretty easily and they didn't break. So they've been dyed and treated with glycerin again. And so they're pretty supple, but they're also dampened. I dampened them with my fingers and let them sit. And then the next thing I do, now I'm gonna have some little strays here, just try to train them to go around. And the way that I do that is dampen them and then clip them and let them sit that way for a while till they start training. Now the same goes for up above here. I'll show you when I get closer, but I did the same thing, dampened, pushed them way down in, pinched them down in there so they could train to follow that line, okay? So let me just show you a few stitches here and see how it works. This is just the basic stitch, just the regular stitch. And I haven't done anything fancy in attaching them. Just one stitch because I didn't want to hide the color of the pine needles. I think it's a very pretty, deep, mauve pink. And when you have dyed pine needles, and there's, there's no sense of wrapping around them and covering them unless you really want that design. But then again, these are pretty moist because they've been dampened and I let them sit a few minutes before I started working with them. And so, so when I went around this corner, if you notice here, it's a pretty sharp corner. So instead of just going through once on this side and then moving up to this stitch, I went through twice. And so that gave me a stitch on either side. So again, this is kind of a wide space. So I'm going to go ahead and take two stitches and hope I can get my needle through that hole, yes. I'll do one on this side because you wanna keep enough stitches when you're going around the next row. Now I'm gonna bend them over ever so slightly. I'll have to turn it around this way. I don't wanna break them, but now I can use this stitch down here to get around the corner. I can get a hold of my needle there. I'll do one more just to show you. It can, you can go right around that corner. And this is gonna be really cute because it's it will retain that little point and it's gonna be a heart shape. There we go, I'll do one more. I'm trying not to pick up the needles. They're very tender right now because they're pretty damp and I don't want to rip the needles up. 
So there we go, and I'll just keep going right on up the side. So the second, let me just clip this here. The second row is quite a bit thicker. So this little point is kind of getting buried down in there, but that's fine. It'll keep working its way around, and I'll show you what it looks like when we get to the top. Okay, I've worked myself up to the top of the heart. I wanted to mention that going around the corners here, I ended up creating a V-stitch because the stitches were getting too far apart and I'm trying to keep enough stitches in here for the um, to be about a quarter of an inch apart. But see, it went easily around the bottom, damp needles, and I dampened them up here and then clipped them down. I picked up these cute little clamps at the dollar store. But see how it sort of bent it and started training it? So anywhere I think I need to add a stitch so that I maintain my stitch pattern, uh, I'll just do a V-stitch. I'll probably do the V-stitch over here to match up. Here I will take less stitches because you see how crowded that is there. But so I've dampened these and then let them sit a minute so they could train to go down in the middle of the heart there. And I'm gonna stitch upside down just so I could see it better and get to it and you'll be able to see it. So here the stitches are a little further apart. So I'm gonna take another V stitch just so when I get to my next row, I have my stitches are about a quarter of an inch apart. That's just what I'm accustomed to working with. Okay, then we'll go on down and get closer into that little crevice of the heart. Now remember that these needles are dyed and glycerin, and I soaked them. So they're pretty pliable, and see, I can just work them right down in there. So I really want to get them bent and tight down in there. I'm going to just pull it snug. I'll just figure out. I'll show you. It'll go right down in and right back up the other side. So I probably will take one stitch right in the middle here. That should work just fine. Pull it down there tight. See, it's going right up there. So we'll take one more here. Pull it down in. Force it up the other side. So I really try to get it down in there snug. And as the pine needles dry, they are going to just fit right in there. So I need to add more needles, but I don't want to really add too many needles right on the points because it just makes it too thick. So there you have it. It is fitting in there just fine. I'll snug it up probably. And let me go down in here. It's tightening up. Okay, it's tightening up really good. I probably have too many stitches there, but that's fine. So that's what it's looking like. It goes right down into the crevice. I'm gonna just push it down a little tighter and use my trusty little clamp here and let it sit there a little bit so it gets pretty firm. And then I'll keep working my way around this side. Okay. So glycerin needles, damp needles, and I think that you will be able to make it around those tight corners pretty easily. Thanks for watching. I'll post a pic when it's done because I don't know what stitch I'm going to do next. Thanks for watching.